median is the number that half of the observations are less than it, half of the observations are more than it. And if there are like seven numbers, it is easy because, you know, number, observation number four, three observations are less than it, three observations are more than it. But if the number of observations are even, then it's a problem. We know how to solve the problem. The harder one is when we don't see the observations. This is an example of uh, classified data, grades of students, classified between, you know, in groups, uh, and then the frequency of each observation is there, but we don't know what are the exact numbers. So we know that two observations, uh, two observations in the first class, four observations in the second class, and so forth. So what we want to do is that we want to find out what would be the median of this data set. There are 34 numbers in there, but we don't know what is exactly the median because we don't know the numbers to tell what is the median. Okay? We, we know that nine observations are between 50 to 60, but we don't know what are those numbers to say, oh, that number is the median. So this would be an estimation of the median regardless. Because we don't have the real numbers, it won't be the median itself. What we are attempting to do is to find an estimation for median. Okay? I already gave you a formula for the location of the median. Okay? So let's, first of all, let's guess where is the median. Median cannot be in this group. Yes. No. Okay. Median will not be in this class. Because in this class, there are two observations. And if there are two observations in that class, then the, it, the median cannot be there, because half of the observations are not less than it. The median cannot be in this class, the second class, because two observations are less than it, and a lot of observations are more than it. So, you see that the median is actually highly related to cumulative frequency. In this column, we see the cumulated frequency. And the cumulative frequency is actually the, the previous total plus the number of observations that we have in this class. So when we say that the cumulative frequency up to end of the second class is 6, it means that four observations are in this class, two observations are in the class before, so, in total, there are six observations in this class. This class, the second class, cannot contain the median because there are only two observations before it and a lot after it. Okay? This one, uh, third class, there are six observations before it, and I see that there are more than 20 observations, about 20 observations more than it. So, it cannot be the class. So, intuitively, we think that the median should be in this class. Do you have that intuition? The median should be. Now, but we have a formula. So in the exam, you don't have to rely on the intuition. This is the formula. The location work. The location of the median, the location of the median is the location of 50th percentile, meaning the observation that half of the observ 50% of observations are less than it, and 50% of observations are more than it. To find it, we use this formula, n plus 1 multiplied by percentile divided by 100. In this case, we are interested in 50th percentile. So this means that if we have 34 observations, 34 plus 1, multiplied by 50, because 50% are less than it, and this would be our median. So if you use your calculators, you will see that the median, the location of the median would be 35 multiplied by 0.5. It is at 17.5. So this means that the median would be 17 observations and a little more. 17. So we are interested in the location of 17 observations and 18 observations, and it would be there. So now if you use that and the cumulative frequency, we will see that this class, there are 
the class of 60 to 70, there are 15 observations before that. So all of the classes up to 60 have 15 observations. And this class has six, 11 observations itself. So observations from 16 observations to 26 observations of this class are in the class of 60 to 70. Therefore, we can be sure that the median is in this class. Because we have 15 observations in this class, then 11 are here. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 2, 23 are all in this class. Therefore, 17.5 observations are in that class. So we found the class that uh, the median is there. So this is the location of the median. And this is the class containing median. Good? So, now we want the median itself. So what would be the formula to find the median? Now I want you to look at your books and tell me what is the formula for median? So median of classified data is found by this formula. We have to use the lower bound of the class that contains the median. And we have to divide the observations by 2, because half of the observations should be less than it, minus the cumulative frequency of all of the classes before it divided by the frequency of the class, multiplied by our interval in our classifications. OK? So let us identify those numbers. The interval is 10. OK? The interval is 10. Therefore, this 10 should go here. The number of observations is 34. The frequency of the class that we think contains the median, that frequency is 11. What else? Cumulative frequency before the class that we are interested in. Yeah. Cumulative frequency before this. Fifteen. Okay? So now let's uh, write down the, the result. Therefore, the median is the lower bound of the class that we think contains the median. 60 plus 34 divided by 2 plus cumulative frequency before, sorry, minus. minus uh, cumulative frequency before, which is 15, divided by the frequency in this class, which is 11, multiplied by the interval, which is 10. This means 60. Plus 
17 minus 15 divided by 11 multiplied by 10. Please do the math and find the result. 61 